Hey everybody, my name is Kids Coding, and welcome back to another video on the channel. So this video is going to be a Bootstrap recap, because tomorrow is going to be the first day of the 7 days of Bootstrap uploads. Um, I'm doing this so that I can hit 200 subscribers, so if you haven't already, be sure to go down there and hit the subscribe button. It really means a lot to me. But yeah, so today is just a recap of what Bootstrap is. So what Bootstrap is, is that it's just an easier form of CSS and it's more responsive. So if I were to go here and I were to um, resize this web page like this, you would see that it's you're just easily able to resize this and um, and it shifts based on the viewport. So Bootstrap allows it for you, um, it allows the web page to be responsive. And it's much easier to code, it's way easier than CSS in my opinion. Yes, that's just what CSS is. The next thing you need to know is how you code Bootstrap. You can refer Bootstrap in two ways. The first way is through the CS, is for the CDN. This right here is what is called the CDN. It is what I like to do, it's probably my favorite way. Um, I just personally like it and I don't, I don't want to have to like download so many files and stuff. So that is why I just include the CDN right here in the code editor. The other way you can do it is downloading. You can just download this bootstrap file, um, it's just file, and it allows you to code bootstrap. But personally, I prefer to do this way. I'll have that link in the description below. But yeah, that is pretty much the two ways you do it. Just keep in mind that you must do this every time you do bootstrap. If you don't, then nothing's going to happen because there has to be a way for you to refer the bootstrap. Either do this or download the link, but I myself recommend doing it this way. So yeah, those are pretty much how you refer Bootstrap, and just to recap, keep in your head, Bootstrap is just an easier version of CSS, and it's more responsive. So now let's move on to container and container fluids. In Bootstrap, it's more advised to use something called a container fluid. Um, so a container and a container fluid, let me go over those. So, container is just essentially a fixed width container. It's just a fixed width. Um, yeah, it's just a fixed width. Really. So, let me just um, demonstrate real quick. Okay, there. So, now I'm going to show you what a container does. So, I already had it right here. Right? No. I need to add some text inside. Let me do that. And there, as you see, right there. Oh, because the text was red too. There. So as you see, a container is just a fixed width. So it's always going to be like that. Um, that's just what a container is. But a container fluid, it will shift based on the um, based on your uh, your screen display. So like, if I do a container fluid, it will just essentially stretch it all the way to the width of the viewport. So it like stretched all the way to my LCD, L to my display, yeah, like that. So that is pretty much what a container and container fluid are. Container is just a fixed width container and it's going to be like that, it's going to stay there. But a container fluid is going to shift based on your screen size or your screen display. So that is what the difference between container and container fluid are. So now let's go on to colors, I'm going to make this quick and short. So. In Bootstrap colors, we don't we don't reference them like we do in CSS and HTML. Instead, we have something that I like to call code names: Danger, which is red; Warning, which is yellow; Success, which is green; Primary, which is blue; Info, which is cyan; Body, which is black. That's the default text color that you see. White is white; Light is light gray; and then you have muted and secondary, which are both shades of gray. So those are all the code names in Bootstrap and they're only used in Bootstrap. You don't use them in any other coding languages. So yeah, um, let me just show you an example. So if we want to change the text color, we, we have to include the text hyphen class. We have to include a text class. So let me show you. So let's say we wanted a text with the color red. So in order to do that, we would do text hyphen and then the color that we want. I want red and red is dangerous. So we just put danger like that and then we save it and then we go over here and we reload oh yeah make sure you put some text i have a habit of not doing that um if you don't put any text then nothing will show up 
And yeah, as you see, the text is red, just like we want it. Um, if I wanted to make the background color red, what I would have to do is that I would have to use the BG before. So I would have to use .bg and then the color name. That is the class. So with text, it's text and then um, hyphen and then the color name. I'm doing red so it's danger, but you can do any of the other colors I mentioned. Warning yellow, success green, primary blue, info sign, body black, white white. It should have been on the screen a couple minutes ago or a couple seconds ago, I don't know. But yeah, that is pretty much that. So yeah, if I were to make the background color red instead, it would make the background color red. But you see that here, it's not like truly visible, so we can change that. So instead we can make the text white or whatever color you want, but I just prefer to do it white. Just like that. I just see it right there. You can do any of the other colors I mentioned. Do warning. Then get rid of that. Like that, then we'll do a yellow. And yeah, you have several different options and several different colors. So those are all the bootstrap colors. The next thing that I'm going to talk about is bootstrap grids, and this is the final thing in the review. So um, to do bootstrap grids, we need a row class. That is really important. Um, in my previous video, I did explain why we needed row, but it's just essentially so that you can um, combine the grids together and that they won't be separate lines and they won't line break. So um, then what I what you need to do is that you need to include a couple things. And the first thing is that you need to include the column class. There's two ways you do this. Um, the second one, um, I think I said that it's the same way. It is the same way, but it is more responsive. I'll elaborate on that. So um, first thing, the most simple way to do it is to use a column class like that. Then we need style and then we need background color. Just like that. And then we need to pick whatever color we want. This is going to be the background color for our bootstrap grid. So if I didn't mention what bootstrap grids already are, is that they just spent, they just essentially are like a display. Um, they kind of show what's on the screen. Um, yeah, they just spread. I don't know how to describe it, but yeah, you'll see the result. So then from there, um, I think we're good to go. So I'll just save it and then add some text real quick. And now let's reload. And as you see, there it is, that's a grid. Grids are a little bit different because they will span like the entire width. It's not like a container fluid world part of it's gonna be covered. But yeah, grids are just like a full, um, they're like a full length, like that. So I can just copy and paste this one more time. Um, so yeah, so um, because we're gonna do one more, um, we're gonna do it the same way. Um, by the way, you can watch my bootstrap grids video. I recorded that a long, long time ago, so I'm kind of rusty on it, which isn't good. But yeah, let's just save that and then let's reload. I'm going to show you what happens. So as you see, what happens is that it just splits like that. And that's what the purpose of the row class does. Talking a little bit about span numbers. Um, span numbers is just um, the number that happens once you split it into that many times. So if I split it into halves and then I divide it by 12, which is the maximum span number, then I would get two, um, two grids with a span of six. If I divide it into three, I would get three grids with a span of four. And then you keep on going like that. So that is essentially what grids are. So I can just do um, this, this second way you can do it. This one is actually like responsive. And it like allows you to do responsive, to do responsive grids. So this right here is like that, and then you just do it like this. And as you see, it like allows you to like shift it like that. So that's the only difference between the two. I said that they were the same, but that's the only slight difference. Um, if I just did a column class, then the way how um, the web page would be resized was that it would just, It would just be like this and um, the way how you resize the web page is different so um that's pretty much the difference it just allows you to you know resize the web page and you see that when you shift the viewport 
that they're just different. So yeah, that is pretty much it with this video. We just recapped everything. And yeah, if you enjoyed it, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And stay tuned to tomorrow, which is the first day of the seven days of Bootstrap uploads. And I'll see you guys next time.